Hey guys, John Cusack from Cusack Music. We're going to talk about the cable tester today. Uh, in our industry, there's a lot of different cable companies out there, and, uh, and some of them are solderless cables. And you hear a lot of things, good and bad, about solderless cables. How some people say solderless cables are unreliable, some people say certain brands are unreliable, and others say that all of them are unreliable. Well, what I have found in my years in the industry is that most of the time when you have a bad solderless cable is because it was built wrong. If you build it right, it's going to last a long time. Uh, one of the things you have to test for is to make sure that the contact resistance is less than one ohm. If it's re less than one ohm when you build it, then the cable is going to last a long time. If it's over an ohm and you put it on your pedal board, there's a good chance that it's going to fail early. So if you have a, let's say you have a cable that's 10 ohms, it's going to test good on a continuity tester, it's going to pass signal, it might even sound fine, but that's a signal that you actually have a cable that's going to fail early in the field. So we designed the cable tester to be able to test your cables and make sure that you have less than a one ohm connection and you know you have a good cable before you even put it on your board. So let's take a look at the cable tester and how it works. So the first thing we do is we flip the toggle to the calibrate position and we are going to internally calibrate the meter to one ohm resistance. So there's an internal one ohm resistor that we've flipped into the circuit. We're going to adjust the pot until the light comes on. Now the circuit is adjusted to one ohm. We're going to flip the switch back to the use position and you'll notice that the light is on right now. When the uh, Cables are disconnected, they're shorted together just to confirm your connection and you should have the light on with nothing plugged in. Now we're going to plug a cable in and we're going to go one click down. So you can feel the first click and we're going to have a uh, tip connection that we're testing here. And you'll see that the light is on, which means I have a connection between the two tips of this cable. If I had a stereo cable, I would go down to the ring position, which is the next click, and I would see that the light is on. Now this is a mono cable, so if I put one at the ring and one at the sleeve, you're going to see that it, the green light is on and it's saying that I have a good cable, which is correct because this is a mono cable, so the sleeve and the ring should be tied together. Now if we try a different cable, this one for example, we go tip to tip and you'll see that the light is off. That means we have an uh, over one ohm connection here. We go down one, the light comes back on, so our ground connection, and we go sleeve ring, they're the same connection on a mono, and that's still showing as good. If I take this cable and I test it with, for example, a fluke meter that has a continuity mode, I'm gonna do a continuity test, and I'm gonna go from ground to ground, I have a good cable. I'm going to go from tip to tip. According to this, I have a good cable. But if you look at the screen, I have 12 ohms of resistance on this particular cable right now. So 12 ohms is well over one ohm. So that's a sign of a bad cable. So most people who use just a continuity meter, especially those that don't have a readout, they're going to get a beep. They're going to think this is a good cable. They're going to put it on their pedal board and it's going to fail in the field early. As soon as you check this, find out that you have over an ohm, what you need to do is, is re-terminate it. And then what I recommend is you re-terminate both ends every time because you don't know which end is bad. You might as well re-terminate it. They don't take that long to redo. And when you have it under an ohm, put it back on your board. And that will guarantee that you're gonna have a lot more life out of these solderless cables. If you have any questions, uh, send us an email, uh, either john at cusackmusic.com Call us at 616-546-8888 or check out our website, qsecmusic.com. Thanks.